And we begin tonight with the hottest streak in Iowa sports since 1985. The Hawkeyes are number two, their best ranking since they hit number one back when the Bears were still doing the Super Bowl shuffle. Colin Cahill joining us now. Colin, we're not going to make you demonstrate the Super Bowl shuffle oh, at gosh. this point, okay. but you do have a recap of last night's comeback win. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a huge game for one thing, but then Kinnick Stadium has a history of incredible finishes over the past several decades. Daniel Murray's kick in 2008, knocking off Michigan in 2016, upending Ohio State in 2017, and many of those games all impacted by those raucous, right. raucous crowds in Iowa City. But yesterday, if you ask young fans, if you ask the older fans, if you ask players, they all said the same thing. It was the loudest environment that they have ever been a part of. A crazy feeling, really. I mean, the fans today were on another level. I've never seen anything like it. It was rowdy, and I will truly never forget what today was like. It was mind-blowing. Deafening, thundering, and mind-blowing. Just a few ways to describe the crowd for the top four matchup in Kinnick last night. 65, 70,000 people are there just to support you, and they had a huge impact on the game. They helped force a lot of penalties, and uh, that was a big part of the game. Late in the second quarter, as Sean Clifford exited to the locker room with an injury, Penn State went to the backup quarterback, Taquan Roberson, who hadn't played a meaningful snap yet as a Lion. The fans capitalized, forcing not one, not two, but three straight false start penalties. The overwhelming echoes of the fans causing miscommunication with a young quarterback. They were into the game. We knew they'd be ready to go at start, and uh, they were more ready than we were. I just wanted to make sure our team understood, you know, that, uh, you know, they can't play the game for us. They might as well have been lining up in the backfield. The Hawks forced four turnovers on defense, all of them interceptions. Each one sent the crowd into a fury of cheers, and the pandemonium that occurred during the game overflowed into the full field rush as the clock hit zero. I had good security. I mean, you know, but in the old days, like when I wasn't, nobody cared if I got run over. Uh, I just, you know, got up against the wall and you just go right down and you're sick. That's the only way to get out. I did learn that. And I'm sure Coach Ference has had plenty of experience over the years with getting out of those on-field rushes. The Hawks take on Purdue next week in Kinnick. John?